Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, I'm King Nitto and today we are coming to you from the City of Lights, Lumio City, but can you feel that? Can you feel the ground beneath you shaking because the Viridian Magma have come here to try and take down the Yellows and they were unsuccessful in doing so last season to the shock of everybody. So let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win. Will it be the Electric Types? Will it be the Ground Types? Let's go! But that is right, last season the Viridian Magma were upset by the Lumio Shellos and they are out for redemption here today as they start out with Toad Scroll and Sandaconda. It is going to be Luxray and Electros starting out for the Lumio Shellos, but Sandaconda with the Speed Avenge immediately goes with the Psycho Cut onto Electros, but Luxray responds with the Fire Spin onto Sandaconda, but it has been trapped in that Fiery Vortex. However, it's got the Sand Spit ability, so already a Sandstorm has kicked up here in Lumio City as we get the Focus Energy. From Electros, this could be a very critical early play as it is getting pumped here on the field and Toad Scroll is going to go and set up the Stealth Rocks very intelligently, setting up these entry hazards nice and early in this game. Those pointed stones will be floating around the side of the Lumio Shallows as that Sandstorm is already doing damage to the Electric types. They need to try and get Sandaconda off the field before this sandstorm finishes because they'll probably set it up again, but now we get the pin mark missile. This multi-hit move from Sandaconda on Deluxray. It has connected twice. It's connected three. It is going for all five, but it will only get three connections here today, and this allows Luxray to respond with the withdraw. It is going to boost that physical defense. Now, it's much more of a physical offensive Pokemon as the Bar Barrage here from Electros onto Sandaconda. It doesn't do a great deal of damage, and this allows Toad Screw to go with the Throat Chop. Gets a great connection there onto Electros as that Sandstorm continues to do damage to the two Electric types on the field. But so far, they are holding their own as that Fiery Vortex continues to do passive damage to Sandaconda, who is going to go with the Guard Swap here, concentrating on Electros. So it is going to switch all changes to their defense and special defense. Luxray, though. Going with the Leech Seed, they are focusing in on Sandaconda here. It is going to be seated. That energy will be sapped. But first, Electros with the Shadow Claw deciding to go for Toad Scroll. Gets a critical hit. That critical play earlier getting pumped has paid off as the last resort does fail from Toad Scroll. And there is that Sandstorm still just kicking about on this field, doing damage to the Lumios Yellows. And that is the trouble with the Viridian Magma that teams have to contend with when they are the visiting side. But there is that Leech Seed sapping the energy of Sandaconda, restoring some health for Luxray as that Fly Spin is doing damage to Sandaconda as well. And Sandaconda is going to set up the safeguard on the side of the Viridian Magma, cloaking them in that mystical veil. Luxray, though, with the ingrain, trying to ensure it has as much health as possible. It is going to plant those roots that are also going to restore its health as the Electros now with the hold back on the Sandaconda. It gets the critical hit, but that is not a shiny Sandaconda. It's the Fire Pledge from Toad Scroll. Gets a good connection there onto Luxray. And there's that Sandstorm following it up, doing more damage to the electric type it's also going to be doing some damage to its fellow levitating electric type which is electros but there is that nutrients being absorbed from the roots for luxury as well as sapping that last bit of health from sandaconda sandaconda has been eliminated before the sandstorm does finish and there is luxury having more health restored thanks to that as out comes guard chomp and with that sand veil ability it will love being in the thick of a sandstorm as it goes with the heel bell that bell does try but unfortunately it does fail and this allows luxury to try and capitalize going with the u-turn getting the elimination of toad scroll capitalizing on that part grass typing super effective luxury goes back to the bench it's still in this matchup and now in its place comes Ampharos. it does have those pointed stones dig into it however the electros is going to follow it up with the assurance but there is guard jump avoiding it thanks to that sand veil and the sandstorm has subsided so that sand veil ability will be out of play but out comes a pound on with the Sandstream ability, another Sandstorm immediately kicked up for the Viridian Magma, and Garchomp is going to try and set up its own Sandstorm, but unfortunately it does fail, thanks to Hapowdon having already set one up, and Hapowdon is going to go with the Metal Claw. Not very effective on Electros, does put it in knockout range, Ampharos responds for itself with the Iron Head, going for Garchomp. Garchomp tanks that move, but Electros follows it up with the Zen Headbutt. And Garchomp avoids yet another move, but unfortunately for the Electric Tops, they are not going to avoid this Sandstorm whilst it is running about Lumio City. Garchomp could go for the easy elimination, it goes for the explosion. 
Well, that was not the easy elimination I meant, but it does take out Electros. However, it does unfortunately take out itself. Ampharos is actually able to hold on though, surprisingly. And it is going to go with the cut, doing very minimal damage to this very physical Hippowdon who responds with the Blast Burn. That may be a little bit excessive, but it does get the elimination of Ampharos here to get that second elimination for the Video Magma as out comes Golem, in that's a low form, it should know how to handle the electric types as it back out comes Luxray, and it is joined by Belly Bolt, who both take damage from those pointed stones digging into them. And if you're wondering why it's the Alolan Golem on the side of the Viridian Magma, it is because it is their Terrastal Drafty, it is going to take on that ground type, and speaking of Golems, the Lumio Shellers have a Golem of their own, and they still have two Pokemon on the bench. Could it be one of them? Could we see two Golems going head to head? I would love to see that, but first the Night Days from Luxray eliminates Hapadon. Hapadon has been taken out of this matchup. There's only two Pokemon remaining for the Viridian Magma. The Yellows are in control, but the Poltergeist from Golem, it is going to go for Luxray with its own Leopard Berry. Luxray has been eliminated. A fantastic response there by Golem. Like I said, it knows how to handle the electric types, but the close combat now on to Golem from Belly Bolt does not do that much damage and Belly Bolt does lower its defense and special defense to do so as well and it is going to be feeling the effects of that Sandstorm There's practically been in this matchup from the very beginning as the safeguard is no longer protecting the Verdant Magma and out comes Viker Bolt for the Lumio Shallows matching colors for the Lumio Shallows out there as out comes Crocodile for the Viridian Magma. Crocodile with the speed control sets up the Shadow Force so it is going to vanish from this field instantly. And Golem follows it up with the attract, putting the moves here onto Vikavolt, and Vikavolt has fallen in love with its fellow electric type. Maybe that's how it was able to do it, as well as Bellybolt is going to go for the Torch Song, but it goes for Crocodile, who is able to avoid that attack. Vikavolt needs to shake off its feelings of love for Golem because it is in competition, but unfortunately it is immobilized by love and it is going to be feeling the effects of this sandstorm. Get your head in the game, Vikavolt. You still have the numbers advantage, but you do have that type disadvantage as the Shadow Force massive damage to Belly Bolt puts it in knockout range. Golem could follow it up. It goes with the Zing Zap and gets the easy elimination of Belly Bolt. Not very effective, but effective enough to get the job done and level the playing field as well. Vikavolt needs to shake off those feelings for Golem and needs to go on the offensive. And it's going to be successful. It's going to go for the Magical Leaf. This is going to be super effective on a Crocodile doing massive damage as the Sandstorm has subsided and out comes Electivire for the Lumio Shallows. Does have those pointed stones digging into it, but Crocodile still with the speed control goes for the block onto Vikavolt, making it so it can no longer escape, but it is not trying to get out of here. Electivire is going to respond with the Icicle Crash. This is super effective and gets the elimination of Crocodile. The Lumio Shallows are back in front. Golem is all by itself. And it is going to go for the Temper Flare. Super effective onto Vikavolt. Clearly, it doesn't love Vikavolt the same way that Vikavolt loves Golem. Vikavolt needs to shake this off. It is successful. It's going to go on the offensive. It's going to go for the Water Shuriken. This is a multi hit move. It needs to connect with all of them to try and get this elimination. It's got two. It's got three. Three's not enough. It needs the fourth one to get the elimination. And it gets the fourth one. Once again, the Lumios Yellows have taken down the Viridian Magma after those four Water Shurikens. Super effective. They're on to Golem. Golem has taken out fantastic effort there by Vikavolt to put its feelings aside and do what is best for the Lumios Yellows and get them the victory here over the ground types. Once again, very impressive by the Lumio Shellos to do so. And next round, they will be going up against the Hammerlock Draconids. Whereas for the Magma next round, they will be going up against the Medali Aethers. But until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.